it's a fun fun job <laughs> do you like cooking guys do you like cooking at home how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing well wherever you are i was watching this news today it was about um so much people that died from covid in india guys hang in there and stay safe these two shall pass in the meantime wash your hands frequently mask on and maintain the social distancing put it closer so you'll be able to see so put just something like that when i used to have two jobs i didn't have enough time to cook at home but i used to get a food from our cafeteria where i used to work they have delicious food so i used to get like hamburger and french fries and their chicken right now i couldn't afford to have two jobs guys because this channel has keeping me already busy so during my day off i'd rather just enjoy making videos for you guys and also i love cooking this way i can make videos make uh, something delicious for you to watch and i hope that you enjoy the videos and recipes that i always prepare for you guys so look at the skin before when i used to live in upstate new york I used to live in the countryside this chicken skin i used to like fry them and throw them outside the window because there is this like um fox um wild animals we even have like a lot of chickens and they would go to our chicken pens and eat all the chickens when I wake up in the morning, all the chickens are gone because the fox would eat them. During winter time, we get so hungry, I think. So whenever I make some chicken and whenever I peel the chicken, something like this, the chicken skin, I would fry them and throw them outside the window, outside my house, and those wild animals will eat them. I'm hoping that they would not eat all the chicken in the chicken pens, but they would still eat them anyway. I really miss having my own chicken pen. So once I move out from this apartment, I'm hoping by August. But I'm also scared to move because I really love my neighbors here. They just mind their own business. And Riley made a lot of friends here, my daughter. I don't know where I'm gonna be moving but I'm sure it's somewhere just closer here because of the school I live closer to the school I live in the city right now I'm not really planning on moving into the countryside yet maybe when the kids a little bit older I'm gonna be so busy with my YouTube career cooking for you guys is fun talking with you guys going to be using a oven bag such like this it's from Reynolds so I got this at Walmart this box there's six bags in it and can fit up to eight pounds let us put the chicken pan I mean the everything here chickens and uh, veggies it's actually pretty good size and then i forgot to cut the uh, potatoes i used to have a lot of potatoes in my garden but they died during winter so i always harvest them before the winter it's us it's good to have your own vegetables sometimes so when my kids are gonna be like they become older I want to move in like an off-grid 
small house and have my big yard of garden. That's my dream. Just relax and gardening, cooking, stuff like that. It's so therapeutic for me to be cooking all the time. Well, I also get tired sometimes. I'm just human. I relax just a couple hours and grab my ingredients and cook. Then I feel better. Usually, before, when I get bored, I go to the malls or supermarket and shopping but now that I'm older I found myself um, just having fun cooking and I also noticed that since I have this channel whenever I go to supermarket or the mall I used to go to the makeup section or the clothing and check new clothing, trends, stuff like that. But since I have this channel now, every time I go to supermarket or mall, I found myself in the kitchen and dining section <laughs> looking for like anything, maybe kitchen utensils, anything for my cooking show. And I really enjoyed it a lot. And the next thing you know, I've been standing there in the aisle for one to three hours <laughs> and that's what I just did and I'm, I think I'm gonna show you guys what I got from home goods I think that was last week I just got so super busy didn't have any time to unbag them from the bag all right so I'm done cutting them now we are going to bag them is our carrots the grubs let me just wash them guys Colorful and pretty. The pan that I'm going to be using is a white one from Better Homes and Garden. I don't know exactly what is the measurement on this one. Probably, I can't see. <laughs> so let's put everything here. And then I will mix everything here. Okay. This is a bit bigger. This one. We will put the meat here. Okay, we will put the garlic on top. Mm. 
I love the smell of the garlic. Pretty. It looks so gorgeous. A bit of onion top. If you ever want to try this recipe, and if you hate onions because some people doesn't like onions, you don't have to add onions. You can try something else. You can try other vegetables. Right now, I'm just using potato and carrots, but feel free to use if you love mushrooms, zucchini, whatever uh, veggies you prepare for this recipe. Feel free to use it, okay? Because trust me, guys, I just also copied this recipe. <laughs> I'm a copycat chef. <laughs> no, I'm not a chef. I'm just trying to copy recipes that I would love to try to cook and eat put some veggies on top like that oh, it looks so pretty it's not over tonight just give me one more chance to make it right I may not make it through the night I won't go home without you yeah 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 and then salt and pepper to taste salt and pepper oh my god this is empty and look at that guys i'll give you a closer look before i sell them last thing i want to put is salt i don't like to put a lot of salt when i'm cooking because if it's salty, I cannot fix it, but if it's lack of salt, I can always put salt or add salt later on, and that's why. So, we are going to seal it. Now, I'm just going to close this bag, but before that, let me shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Okay, let, let the air out. guys I have this thing here I found on the ground <laughs> just kidding we are going to sell it just like this okay all right then close the bag one more time like that and voila but we're gonna spread it Three sixty for thirty minutes. On the closer look, that's how it looked like. Now let me put it in the oven. Let me grab some toothpick. Just tiny hole like this for them to breathe just a little bit. Okay. So it's in the oven now wait for the alarm to beep i know it's so dirty guys my oven one of these days let me close this first one of these days i want to clean the oven the microwave the refrigerator one of these days this day just looks so filthy i mean look at all the grease first i wanted to show you guys the ones that i got from home goods this are just very cheap they are in clearance sales for 99 i think i hope you'll be able to see it it's very tiny i'll give you a closer look very nice right uh, i plan to make like pizza dough next time so i got a french rolling pin made of bamboo there it is this is 20 inches long I'll be making pizza dough or tortillas for the taco that I will be uh, planning to make one of these days. So that's that. And then I got also a silicone baking mat. $7.99. It's like 16 inches. It's very nice. Got that. So... When I'm making a uh, dough, because sometimes this one right here, the countertops are not very clean. 
kitchen. I do not like working on a very dirty kitchen. And I have a new knife, guys. So this one is Two Chef knife set. So it is looking pretty. The handle is like a maroon or red wine color and it says a scene on tv actually this one is from walmart for like seven dollars eleven or ten and then they also put this on clearance sale this is gonna be the one you will be seeing on the next videos that i will be making very pretty nice for seven dollars <laughs> so next i also got this in walmart this is a chef style nonstick pan this is also like three dollars something and uh, i'm planning to make apple pie i think uh, today but that will be in the next video nine inches 22.8 centimeter next is i have also this cutting board a glass cutting board i think this was also about four or six dollars from men's taste this is a i got this from walmart and what i like about it it has like this slip resistant corners as you can see it has like rubbers on it here and also this washer safe so the reason also why I got this one. So it's for my fruits, I think. For my vegetables and fruits. So I will be using the other board, my other cutting board for meats. Um, yeah, I know I just uh, cut everything on one cutting board. Trying to cook as fast as I can to not get you guys bored. But what do you think? It's really nice. It's pretty nice size it is a 12 inches wide and 15 inches long okay guys glass cutting board from men's face i'm loving it mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> i think that's what oh no we have also this one also is from walmart it is a cast iron skillet season from lodge I think it's very heavy and they really put a lot of effort on this I think $16 the size of this pan is 12 inches or 30.4 centimeter hoping that when I'm making my steaks will not turn into a beef jerky again oh, what do you think I like it it's so pretty right you will be seeing them when I'm cooking next time that in case you're wondering I have new stuff for my kitchen and that is why i went shopping the other day because since i opened this channel guys i stopped buying uh clothing or makeup and start buying stuff for my kitchen i never really care about baking or stuff for my cooking before although i cook every day it's because i just use the same pan over and over again since i have this channel that keeping me busy this shows very beautiful and thank you guys for engaging all my uploads so i'd like to have a new stuff also for your eyes so that you don't get bored and also guys my sh uh, dress it's a yellow i think it's a lemon color it's from boohoo so a pretty nice dress also i like this one and it's supposed to be off shoulder guys like that like that but um you know i'm cooking running around like a headless chicken so sometimes it go back here and there but i love what i got i save a lot of money our food is getting ready and it's cooked now well done so yeah i hope you like my new stuff for the kitchen give this video thumbs up might as well you have gone this far and don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't yet let's go
Okay guys, it is time for our taste test. I am so hungry. I'm starving while working on this. I can smell it. It's very delicious. And I just kind of garnish them with some parsley. But this is optional if you don't like parsley. And also some carrots. Uh, just a little bit to make it so pretty for your eyes. Now, the important thing is the taste. It has to be delicious as it smells so delicious and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be so delish. Now, let's start with our chicken thighs. Mm, look at that, how tender it is, guys. Very tender. First bite for all of you. Mmm. Yeah. With rice. You don't have to eat rice if you don't like white rice. But rice is part of me. So cheers. Mmm. Potato is life. Yum. Mmm. And some more chicken. Because it's so tender and so delicious and juicy. I just love it. Let's have some more bite. Mm. 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 It's very delicious and I can't wait to finish this. It's really, really worth my effort. So anyway, guys, I am going to finish my meal and I will end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Very easy. Put everything in a bag and stick it in the oven. Voila, your dinner or lunch, whichever you want to prefer, breakfast, is ready. Very easy. Alright, and it's so juicy and yummy. So that's all for today, guys. And I hope to see you on the next one. I hope you guys have a very, very nice day. Bye!